huge. <sighs> Jesus Christ. We're, li we're live in the studio. Oh my god, I've already said the Lord's name in vain. Are we gonna get cancelled? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so uh, yeah, this is a long time coming. We've been talking about it for a bit. Uh, Luke and Aaron podcast, LA podcast for yeah. short. Um, yeah, you know, uh, I've been talking about podcasting for a long time. You're a big media guy, a junkie, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, so yeah, we decided to come together, longtime friends, old teammates, and now new teammates. Uh, yeah, what have we known each other since we were fucking... Four. <laughs> now, probably, when did we first... Well, our parents seven. used to swing together. Yeah, um, <laughs> well, our dads used to swing together. Let's just get real here. <laughs> Our dads used to swing together. Big time dick touchers. Oh yeah, no, they uh, they gingerly touch their tips together every once in a while. Um, my, my dad was telling me a story about how it was like, oh my god, remember that one time we were at the Ransons and we ate like a hundred wings, and I was like, we did more than eat hundred wings. <laughs> We, it's pretty much every time my dad has to cook. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he just fires up the old deep fryer. Yeah. I was shocked to hear that people don't have deep fryers at their house. Like most normal families fucking, don't have deep fryers. Well, yeah, it's because it's a gross, disgusting thing. And anyone who has some should be fucking shot. Oh, okay. Uh, other side of the spectrum here. <laughs> I think it's great. Yeah. And it makes delicious wings. And have you ever had... Uh, like bagged fries or like onion rings that you just get from the superstore and my, you put them in the oven and then tried them on the other side you put them in the deep fryer it's my like buddy way better devin had one in university devin skilton i'm gonna be throwing everyone's name out here in yeah. this podcast <laughs> anyone who i know we're a full name podcast <laughs> yeah fuck. no i'm not hiding you yeah. anywhere i'm clipping the audio right now this is a, just a feeling out no part. anonymity you're gonna get exposed <laughs> If you know us, look out. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he had one, and he would use the fucking same greasy oil f for a year. Yeah, that's where you get the flavor. Oh, is it? Yeah. That's how you, you light your the, fucking if you cigarettes. The, if you change the oil every time, you're losing all that flavor from the last cook. Is that a real thing? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's just the way i that's the way i think about it. Oh, you actually do do that? Yeah. Well, my dad leaves it in there for like a month, maybe two. Wow. And it just sits in our garage. Well, he, Devin used, used to reuse coffee, too. That's a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's disgusting. Reusing oil is one thing, because, yeah. like, you heat it up, the heat kills the bacteria, right? That's science, mm -hmm. right? You think so? We all love science. Yeah. You're dating a scientist. Yeah. A, what is it? Biologist? Chemist? Yeah. Physics? Radio chemist. Whoa. Yeah. I don't know. Well, she's with cool. me. Here we are in your fucking... Etobicoke apartment. <laughs> in my compartment. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we're just learning, guys. This is episode one. We've, introdu in. We've introduced two. the name, right? The LA Podcast? Yeah, it's the LA Podcast um, for Luke and Aaron. It's a play on words. Yeah, you know, there's a city. I don't know if you've heard. There's a city. Uh, LA? Yeah. It's pretty big. They got a big uh, opioid epidemic happening down there. There's people shoving. I thought shoving. that was mostly the Midwest. Well, <laughs> fuck, if it ain't the LA County, too. There, people are shoving uh, bike things up their butts. Bike things. Yeah, let's get a clip up here. Let's see if you can we find got horns. A... No, first, first and <laughs> foremost, <laughs> to be I honest, want to see someone shove something up their ass. To be on... yeah. Luke, Luke, <laughs> Luke. First episode. Let's bring them in before we run them off. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, so let's bring. <laughs> So first of all, uh -huh. I want to talk about, because we're a first, first time casters here today, I want to talk about another first. <laughs> Bill's football. First game of the year. Okay. Also, first Grand Slam title for one. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we knew that was going to happen. The Genesee. Yeah. The Genesee Cree Mail brought to you by, it's one of our sponsors here. Uh, this is a at the Luke, Luke and Aaron podcast. Okay, yeah, bring it down. All right, perfect. Yeah, that's not in the way of the screen. All right, uh, it's very good. We're off to a sharp and clean start here. Uh, but yeah, back to what I was going to talk about. Canadian history, first Grand Slam title for, a, uh, for a, any Canadian, let alone a woman. And I'm excited for her. I didn't see it. I was on the Stairmaster. Mm -hmm. I watched her win the award. And um, it's funny when you see... Um, a Canadian win something, you know? It's such a rarity. 
you know, what I loved is watching her win it in the States against America's queen, Serena Williams. Just hearing the crowd, yeah. just booing the entire time. Were they booing? Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Well, they were I, booing. They were booing when I when I but they were like going nuts when Serena would get a point. Really? Yeah. And it was just complete bias. And I'm glad that uh, Andrescu really hit the nail on the head and uh, brought it home. But at the end of the day, she did the most Canadian thing ever. Have you seen her her exit interview? No. She did. She, she s- apologized for winning the tournament. Really? Yeah. Wow. Apologize for winning. Serena would have been like, fuck that motherfucker I won. I work hard. I don't think Bianca would have even come up in the exit interview if Serena No way. Apparently apparently my cousin went to the uh, match, uh, one of Williams' earlier matches, and she doesn't even fucking walk out with one of the ball boys or anything. She's just straight to it, looking to make you embarrassed. I want to... Is there a clip of uh, Injescu winning? Uh, Give me a second here. Um... Here, fill time while I look. Uh, well, another thing, stuff. another thing is like, um, oh, you can the, hear my uh, roommate getting up in the it, background. It's here. not only is Andrescu talented, but she's also what ethnicity? What is she? Well, I thought she was Greek. <laughs> I, and I so did you. She and has then, two E's in her name. What a fucking mess that is. Yeah, I mean, I think it's unique, and yeah. I actually support it. Uh, first of all, I have two A's at the beginning of my think, name. That's also weird. I think one of my favorite things about her is is that we had Jenny Bouchard, and everyone just fucking forgot about Jenny. You forgot how to pronounce her name. It's Jeannie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go, right? There exactly, you go. Yeah. Proof, proof is in the pudding, yeah, folks. And, and sometimes... When you're uh, watching tennis, you go, what the fuck is this game? Like, who invented this game? Who The British. Like, okay, cool. But, wh- like, when was plastic invented? What do they use? What's the netting on that racket? Oh, it racket? used to be wood. They used to hit the ball with wo- oh, just no, flat twine. wood? Twine. Oh. Come on. That's a... That's a... That's been around a long time. I was trying to think, like, how the fuck were they... Imagine how bad the game used to be. Oh, I think it was better. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> You don't have the crutch of using state-of-the-art technology. Right. It's just you I versus know, me and a plank of wood. I know when I hit a ball, my wrist snaps because I usually miss the center and I fuck up my wrist. And we have a roommate away. Do we have a we have a, a guest? Is does he want to come in and make his picks? Austin three sixteen. NFL Sunday. Austin three sixteen. We're you talking. Making the picks right now. Uh, the picks can be made. I I haven't even looked at the games. So how would I come back? Come in 10 back. Minutes? Come back in ten. All right, we got a guest in 10 minutes. This just in. First guest on the cast. This is huge. Wow. <laughs> we nailed it, this one. This is this probably will get 10,000 views because of our first guest. I don't want to toot my own horn here, but he. the only reason we have a guest is because of me. Right. <laughs> I live here. I pay rent. Yeah. He happened to open his door, and <laughs> now he's here. He's coming on the cast. Uh, th- this just didn't go. What is rent, by the way? How much is that? Rent here? Yeah. Um, it's kind of personal, but it's uh, five ninety six <laughs> per month. No way. It's right plus on... internet. Five ninety six. Yeah. Why is it's it steal ninety six? Because uh, it was five eighty five, and then due to rent control, you can only raise it about eight percent every year. Mm. Um. So, uh, it might be eight percent, might be point one eight one point well, eight percent. Now we're getting like into that. something my family knows well. That's real estate. Yeah, kind <laughs> we'll, of have, a, we'll kind save that for a different podcast. Yeah, kind of a mogul over here. This, <laughs> this guy's family, <laughs> yeah. real estate moguls. Uh, yeah, you'd think they'd have to do some weird shit to get like build a little empire like that. I always thought like, what if they did some. Bilderberg shit. I know for a fact they did some weird <laughs> shit. Tom's a weird cat. <laughs> Tom, I don't know, but I think the thing you have to remember about Tom is he's a very, very smart guy. Genius man. I don't know. But he that. has a few jokes that he likes to recycle, especially yeah. with me. Yeah. 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 I think every First and foremost. He keeps, he showed me his nutsack. He like, that's, uh, that's something we'll talk about if we have a psychologist on or a psychiatrist. <laughs> yeah. we'll he can, he about, got his nuts. Uh, he got like 60 stitches on his dick and nuts. And then he, when I was watching TV about three months ago, pulled his pants down and said, how does this look? This is a man scar. This is a man scar. Yeah. He ha- grabbed my hair, pulled so, it in tight. And to said, get back to the jokes he likes to recycle. That's not a recyclable I'm, one. No, I don't no. Think. That's, that's something between a father and son. Yeah. That's what that is. Yeah. Um, but I, <laughs> I'm, 
I'm a uh, I'm a Catholic. Uh, uh, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, not practicing, but I'm, I am a Catholic. Always open to uh, suggestions. Yeah, I mean, I'm very uh, I'm very <laughs> persuaded. I'm I'm very easily persuaded. Um, but yeah, so Tom likes to uh, pretend every time I see him, if it hasn't been a while, that I've just come from church. That's uh-huh. a really funny one that he likes to do to me. Yeah. Uh, another one is he'll hand me his MasterCard bill and ask me to pay it. Yeah. It's a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> Usually about 10 grand. Uh, but yeah, so. No, and, and he'll do the uh, classic Christmas one. When am I? When am I coming over for Christmas? I know he asked you. Oh like yeah, he likes that. Seventeen times. Yeah, he likes that. He's doing that to Stephanie about meeting the parents. They just met the the parents the other week, and my dad my dad just blatantly yelled out, "Hey, uh, Stephanie, your dad's a little quiet." Like right in his fucking ear. It was so funny. But anyways, you know what? I like that though. You make an awkward situation more awkward. Then it's not awkward for you. It's just more awkward yeah. for the other person. Yeah. Because was... you initiated the awkwardness. Yeah. That's just how it works. Well. I want to. Uh, what were you searching up here? A little clip of uh, ceremony. Man? I completely lost it. What were we? T- we were looking well, for I her, was her interview afterwards. What? So have we figured out what she is? Yeah, she's Romanian. Romanian. I knew that before we started the cast, but it was only because I thought she was Greek for the longest time. Right. And I was talking about how Greeks, because they're short, er, in stature, they have a lot of power behind their swings. Well, I think. And the- I was like, I think that helps Bianca because she's. She's a little bit shorter, especially than Serena. She's got a lower center of gravity, so she can actually f- fire through the ball. I don't know what the right. physics behind that. Right. But then well, I was told she's think, Romanian, so would, my entire strategy goes uh, out the window. Uh, I'm not buying that because look at Serena Williams. She might have the thickest legs of all time. Yeah, but that's just diff- That's a different story. That's not. She's got Maurice Jones Drew. Yeah, that's stat. not a low center of gravity. That's just tree trunk thighs. She could kick your fucking neck. She's a line- from out. Like if your neck she's was. She's a linebacker. Is she? Yeah. Like she could keep. Like, she's a kick specimen. your neck out. Off. Like, but your head would just come back down and. Your neck is off. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Exactly. Um. <clears throat> anyways, who get- fuck her? She hey, won. Congrats. I just. I love her. No, I don't say fuck her. I mean, like, fuck this. I'm done talking about it and just keep. Oh, man. Okay. Because you know what it is? It's the first NFL Sunday, and it's complete madness. It is. Speaking of the madness. It's insanity in here. This is a new segment. We've never done this before on the podcast. (laughs) Sunday morning picks. And it's for the fucking belt, folks. It's It's for the belt. I'm not gonna let you touch the belt. No, you can't touch. wear it. I'm gonna put it up here. Yeah, you gotta put it. Jesus. Move that in so it keeps it up. This is a me- This is a me- We're setting up. We gotta. For those of you who can't see, we have a is WWE. Is that a good shot? Does that shot look good? We have a WWE belt and a red siren light going off. Yeah. Uh, just to let you know that it's important. This is huge. Um, Do you have the pick? Can you can you load NFL.com? Yeah, I'll and, get our. I'll get, get the pick. I'll going. write them down. Or we can keep a little fucking flow chart. I don't know. Google Docs. But, uh, yeah, this is massive. We, we both love football. Actually, I was out of football for about four years. I played as a child, and then I just got, I just got bored of it and got back in. Aaron introduced me to the Bills Mafia, and I was like, I like what they're doing there. It's good stuff, good hard work. They're throwing people around before games. The thing about the Bills, and, yeah, they might have stolen this uh, little slogan, but it's trust the process. Um, the 76ers hate that we use that. But we use it. Seven, that was a 76ers Philadelphia quote? 76ers. They've been trusting the process for a lot longer than the Bills. But if you ask me, the Bills have the process down, and they're still figuring it out right. down there in Philly. Like, our, our process has been going for the last two years. We made the playoffs first year under Sean McDermott, 9-7. and seven. Should we have made the playoffs? Yeah. You're damn right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're damn right we should have. I thought you were going to say it. no. What the <laughs> fuck? What am I gonna say? Okay, no. but no, but in reality though, yeah, I think that uh, letting go McCoy was a good call. Yeah, for salary cap reasons that I don't understand, it definitely made more. We just sense. have so much depth at back in what I saw in the preseason, which I didn't see much. That uh, European motherfucker can boogie. Christian Wade. Yeah, he's he got did, Serena he's on Williams' our practice legs. Squad. He's well, on that's our practice a, that's a bad move. I should coach. I disagree. I disagree because <clears throat> I. The way that the international player program works from what I understand is that if you get these guys in the international player draft, 
Um, they don't have to make your 53-man roster right away. Mm-hmm. So they get an extra year that they don't have to clear through waivers, and they can get put immediately onto your practice squad if they don't make the 53-man roster. So instead of a 10-man practice squad, you can have an 11-man practice squad. So it's like an extra guy right. on your practice squad that you get for free. Yeah. And that's why I think we didn't play him that much in the second and, and sorry, in the third and fourth preseason game because we were kind of just like stashing him away. We we're like, we know this guy's good. He's had two touches. Both of them averaged about 50 yards. He got a touchdown on one of them. So we were like, you know what? We got a ton of backs here this year. We're going to send Gore out the door next year because he's, what, 56, 57 <laughs> yeah. years old? He's, apparently, but you were saying he has a fucking piece on him too. Eh? I've heard that. I, I heard a lot. I think I, I think I heard on uh, Fighter and the Kid that Schaub was saying he has the biggest piece in the NFL. So. Yeah, Schaub knows Schaub a thing or two be- about pieces. Well, yeah, fuck, he's yeah. a big boy. No, Schaub, I, not, uh, that's not the way I was going with Schaub. it. <laughs> <laughs> Schaub was uh, I was going practice. with the fact that he dresses like a kid that gets raped by older men what <laughs> um i like i like the podcast i'm not saying anything bad but uh i don't mind the sh- podcast i just hate the way he dresses right i think he dresses like a prepubescent boy okay and good for him basketball but jerseys I'll- of teams he does, doesn't cheer yeah that's for. weird he wears camo pants and he's like 40 years old i don't know yeah well, you know what i uh but he did he was practice squad on the bills you know that Brendan Shaw? Yeah. Oh, I like him. He's yeah, he was yeah, a practice really, squatter on the Bills. He's awesome. So that's pretty sick. Um, but fuck. Uh, I'm having a hell of a time whoa, 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 whoa. finding yeah. one of these. Well, I got it. I got okay, it. I so got while it. you're yeah. talking about that, I'm going to talk about uh, Antonio Brown. Because that fucking sucks for the Bills. And basically, it's solidified that the Patriots are going to win another bowl. In my mind, that's what I think. All right, we got now, the picks this It's going to take him a bit to learn the routes, but that guy's such a fucking freak that it doesn't matter. No, you know what? You know what pisses me off the most about this whole situation is the Bills dodged an absolute bullet when Antonio Brown apparently said, okay, no, I don't want to go to the Bills. I don't even think we were that close in general, but the media portrayed that, oh, yeah, the Bills... They're in on Antonio Brown, and Antonio Brown just doesn't want to go to the Bills. Ha ha, Bills, Bills suck, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. The old narrative that all, that never gets tired for these fucking idiot fans out there. But then he goes to the Raiders, and I'm hearing it from all my buddies that are Raiders fans. They're like, oh, yeah, Raiders are better than the Bills. Oh, my God, we got Antonio Brown. We're the best. He didn't want to go to you. And then this all happens, mm-hmm. and I'm just sitting back smiling. Right. I'm like, yeah, good. Didn't want to come to the Bills. He's not... He's not a process guy. And then, think guess what problem. happens when he gets released? He goes to our fucking rivals, the New England Patriots. Yeah. And now we got to deal with him twice a year, every year. Uh, dude, I and think, then I think he reminded he has... of the fact that he fucking scorned us. <laughs> I think if he has a good season, he re-signs. I don't know if they'll have enough money to re-sign him if he has Well, Brady... Enough... How old's Brady? Going to be 43, man? Like, come on. Brady, does, Brady doesn't even make that much money. No? No. I think that they'll be like, listen, do you want to win a lot of chips here? Is this mic set up? Yeah. Because we're going to bring in another mic. Mike Ranger. He's coming. Come on in and do your picks, Mike. You, He's you you're part of, You're going to be in every week this is asset. Roommate, this is roommate Mike. Are you you're, you're, straight up? Or you're sit the fuck. Get a chair. Straight up. Okay, you need a chair, man. What are you no, one of those chairs over there. <laughs> we got a chair from the kitchen oh. coming in. I'm excited. Um, we got a lot of big dick energy. Keeping it in line with the uh, gore talk. Yeah, our yeah. resident, our resident big dick, Mike. Well, do I have a chance to win that? If I'm, oh what are you up God. to over there, man? <laughs> this is, this is on camera. You know that, right? All right, hold on. <laughs> oh my lord! I didn't know this came out. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> check. I, I talk right. into it and then check you your levels quick. Like that? Hello, hello. All right, we're doing another right. fly You're levels good. check. The funniest thing that you guys have said so far is when you you called the Patriots the Bills rivals. Like like they're like it's a, like it's an even rivalry. This guy's a this guy's a fucking Packers fan. He's never watched a hard year of football in his life. Fucking spoiled rotten over here. That's not true. I'm we, sick of it. We had a losing record last. Yeah, time. because you're a fucking coach. Mike McCarthy was the worst coach in the NFL. You want a Super Bowl? Okay, but let, let's get Aaron into a, let's get awesome. into the picks though. This is huge. And once the picks are done, you're you have to leave the table. <laughs> right. Are you gonna write them down? Honestly, like, are you gonna write mine honestly, down? it just hit one o'clock. After these picks, I might be gone. Are you I gotta gonna... go watch some football? Do you have like an Excel? This might be just me. Yeah. 
do you, how yeah, do you, we'll, dude, we'll it's keep crazy. track of the picks. We've been all going right, for 20 all right, all right. minutes already. We'll keep track of the picks. Podcasting <laughs> might be the easiest <laughs> shit of all time. I think I'm, I I think I'm already a master. Like, Yo, I work so fucking hard. It's so, I do so much work. And it's like, yeah, you are just on screen or you just talk. It's she, like you're not doing any of the technical shit that's actually the grunt work. I don't. You do that. I fu- Dude, I have sometimes I'm driving. I'm like, what if I just fucking go into the other lane? Just like Bill Burr says. Jesus Christ. I, I drive we four hours pets. a day. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell happened to you? Now we're, talking, now we're talking mass <laughs> murder. Off the rails. Luke just wants his name in the news. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, any way you could get me some fucking shine. Every, and no, no publicity is bad publicity, really. <laughs> To be honest, no, are we I'm, gonna keep that thing flashing? Yeah, I think we should. Go. I think Absolutely. We should. Once the picks are picked, then we I fucking they can't let's see hey, this. Hey, right? before we do no, our, they can see it. Whoa! Before we do our picks, the everyone belt. catch. Yeah, you can see the belt. Oh everyone, yeah, you can't hey. see the light. No, but oh, we've actually. We're gonna pass the ball around when it's your turn to pick. Yeah. All right. Okay. So we're doing point spread, or are we doing just just, just winning? Okay. Just winning straight yeah. up. Who wins? So so sorry. create a Google Doc. We're gonna no, we don't have to do that. We can we can. Make a little Excel spreadsheet later, because we're gonna watch this later. Maybe I don't know. I'm I'm not going to. You can watch it. Yeah. And just write down the picks. <laughs> that was that was I, weird, dude. <laughs> I I don't get what you're. We're s- definitely gonna watch this. I'm not. Yeah. I don't. You, have, <laughs> you just you. Have we're a, all gonna watch this. I don't not get me. what you're yeah, saying. I mean, <laughs> I'm saying. You're bumping we, the mic. When we watch this back, we can get the picks and we'll write them down and we'll keep track that way. We don't have to do it on oh, the fly here man. when our listeners are listening. Okay, I'm going to create a Google Doc, you lazy fucking coont. Do you think that looks good though, Mike, from where you are? Like the light behind the belt kind of makes it look important. It looks right? cool from here. I just don't <clears throat> think they can see anything. No, from the front, I was looking at it earlier. From the front, it kind of looks All like... Right. Like okay. it's on a little stand. Aaron, let me plug my laptop. Aaron, let me plug. Yeah, yeah. Let me plug right. my laptop. We laptop. might have to do a nighttime cast soon. Yeah. Let me plug my laptop in. Into the TV. Yeah, I'm gonna create the Google Doc and no, write it all we... down. You guys, why great. does this have to be on the fly like this? What why can't the, we just do it? The Genesee. Dude, we gotta know. Oh, it fell mid. I'm not gonna. Oh, I'm <laughs> not gonna fucking go back and listen to everyone's picks. I'm gonna write them down right now, and all then right, you fine. can keep the games up on your laptop. What is that? A Thunderbolt cable? Me that. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. <laughs> All right, fine. I guess uh, Luke. We're gonna do it Luke's way. <laughs> um, it just makes more sense. We don't have to fucking. So just straight up, no spread. No spread. No spread. We're gonna have a lot of the same picks then, but mids. Yeah, we're, that means the ones that aren't the same are gonna be really important. We're only doing Sunday, so Thursday and Monday nighters are like no, not well, important. Thursday already happened. That's what I mean. Yeah. Well, what we can do Monday? No. <clears throat> do you want to do Monday? Let's do it all. There's two games on Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Let's do I didn't all. Know that. All right. Fine. We'll do all. I take. Uh, I thought I'll take the Bears. You're a Bears guy. No, I was joking because the Bears player. already played. No, I know that. They lost. <laughs> Obviously, <I'm, laughs> play with me here. Come on, let's get oh, a little heard... give and take going. Um, all right. So I guess I got the Bills ball, so I'll start it off. Okay. Just uh, go through everything and I'll write it down. <laughs> First game. You know what? Do you guys want to go game by game, yeah. all of our picks, instead yeah. of going... Yeah, that, that's better. You're just going to do all yours? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So Tennessee, Cleveland. A lot of hype around this Cleveland Browns team. I think that's all it is, is hype. I think... They have a, they have a, they have a lot of good players on their roster, but until they actually put forth a winning season, football is all about schemes. Football, you need the talent to fit into the scheme, but I haven't seen anything from them that tells me they're going to be this dominant division-winning team that everybody says. That being said, oh my God, I'm picking Cleveland this week. I'm picking Cleveland this week too. God damn! Because they're better than the Titans. Wow! And look right. at this analysis from Mike. I love it. I'm taking Cleveland as well. <clears throat> I do like the Titans though. I use them in Madden. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, game two, Baltimore, Miami. Mike, why don't you start us off with this one? Uh, I'm gonna pick the Ravens. I think the Dolphins. I think they're probably the worst team in the league. I don't know anything about I, them. Who's their QB? <laughs> like they, Ryan Fitzpatrick is starting. Oh my god! Fitz Magic. You guys should know. That's more the about only them reason you're, you're in your Bills division, but that's the only reason I think they might be able to win this game is Fitz Magic coming through. I'm still taking the Ravens. Fitz Magic. Yeah, I'm still. I'm, I'm taking the Ravens too. Um, 
I will... I'm going to leapfrog you there, Aaron. Yeah. No, uh, we're <laughs> yeah. going this way. You're, you have first pick on the next game. So, Raves. I'm going to pick the Ravens as well, but exactly what I said earlier, if Fitzmagic comes out to play like he did last year week one, and I believe, what did he have, 400 yards and like <laughs> yeah. four touchdowns with the, for Something the Bucks. Silly. If he does that again, Baltimore is going to be in trouble. Um, I think I think we got to speed this up because it's already 106. I also think Mark Ingram's going to eat. <laughs> All right. Now, let's go to uh, Luke. We're going to got the we got the Atlanta Minnesota game. Minnesota. Falcons at Vikings. Yeah. Min- Falcons at Vikings. Got to tell them who's at home. Min. Yeah, that's true. Minnesota. All right, I'll go Minnesota. I think Minnesota's going to win, but I'm picking the Falcons because I mm. I need my Packers to jump out to a big division mm-hmm. lead. And for the sake of the podcast, yeah, we all have well, the same. Make it a little bit more interesting. So you're yeah. taking Falcons there. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh, okay, Bills, Jets, of course. Bills at Jets. There you go, Mike. I want to hear what Mike says because he has no. <laughs> oh, no. Mike's picking the Jets for sure. He's, <laughs> I... he's, he's definitely picking the Jets. No, are you actually? I'm going to pick the Bills I don't because know. they make me want to shout. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Would there have been any. Could the Bills have played anyone this week where you wouldn't have picked the Bills in this? New England. New England, fucking what about the like Rams. The Bills at the Chiefs. The Bills at Chiefs. Dude, I think the Rams are going to be harder to beat than the Chiefs. I'm just asking if there's anyone the Bills could be playing this week where you would He's trying to call out my bias. No, no, no. I have a bias, too. That My last pick was biased. Yeah. I, I, I think... I think no. Not week one. Because you can't start off the gate negative. You can't start out of the gate negative. And your team needs a week one win. And I think Josh Allen's going to shock some people this year. And I think we're uh, we're going to be good. Well, after hearing that, I'm going to pick the Jets. <laughs> okay, I just want to know why, <laughs> is like, why do you think the Jets are going to win that? I just want to make this Fun, exciting. Exciting. Okay. So when Aaron and I go up 2-0 to you. It's then... always good to hear it's disingenuous. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, what the fuck? For the, for the... the Bills are just a better team. I literally think that. Yeah, yeah. but it's in New York. Oh, that means actually, New York crowd. Actually, actually, it's in New Jersey. <laughs> yeah. It's in New Jersey. You're right. There's only one New York team. So they're they're not. Okay, the Bills aren't playing in their home state. That's true. It's going to be tough for them in, in the Swamplands. Okay. You got Bills too, Luke. Uh, yeah. Let's go Washington at Philly. <laughs> I'll take Philly by the spread. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take Philly. I'll, yeah, I'll take Philly too. All right. I, who's the QB for Washington? Like, I, don't think, I don't think they have one. <laughs> yeah, who is, who is starting <laughs> for Washington? Uh, they had Keenum, but then he like... Yeah. I, is it Keenum? I thought... Or is Keenan play somewhere else? Yeah, yeah, I thought who the they f- had him. Who the fuck? It might still be Keenan. Okay, next game. What's the next game? Wow, well, we're really knowledgeable about this, eh? I don't even know their starting quarterback. <laughs> Trust my pick on this one, guys. I don't know the quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it was up there. Was it? <laughs> Everything but eight, Adrian Peterson. Everything but. <laughs> What's the next one? The next one is Carolina versus the Rams. Who's uh, who's at yeah, home? it's Keenum. It's Keenum. Who's at home in that game? Uh, Carolina. Ooh. Fuck man, I took I took the I took uh, the Rams. I bet on that one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take the Panthers. I'm going to take the Panthers, too. Yeah. I, I really like uh, Christian McCaffrey. He's one of my favorite players in the league. Um, DJ Moore, whoever got him in fantasy, is looking really good because he's going to have a huge week because he's in my flex this week. Do you need your so boy, he's gonna Todd? Be really so you got him in fantasy is what Yeah, Todd Gurley's going to eat. He's okay. going to eat. But... Next. Oh, yeah, that's another thing why I chose uh, Cleveland. I got Chubb. All right. That kind of sucked. Apparently, though. we're going back eight picks. Now. We're just <laughs> that kind of sucked. Cleveland again. That kind of sucked for me when uh, McCoy went to uh, the Chiefs, though, because I had Williams. He was my third pick. Yeah, that that's kinda, that's that a was, tough go. That's tough. But you do have four starting pretty running good backs. running back. Yeah. Let's not talk. And nobody likes talking about other people's fantasy teams. Let's just keep that on the DL here. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, we're gonna go KC at Jacksonville. Those Jaguars, though. 
Chiefs. You're picking the Jets. No way. <laughs> okay, yeah. Chiefs all around. Else, uh, yeah. Colts at Chargers. Uh, ah, Chargers. Oh, Chargers, yeah. Do you think maybe we could get a, a light that doesn't click every <laughs> yeah. four times a second? A yeah. <laughs> yeah, it literally sounds like we're in a fucking grandma's house. Yeah, fucking Cincinnati at Seattle. Dude, people That's people online Seattle. were saying take fucking. Yeah. These Cincy. are these are some these, these are, are some easy picks. Yeah, but you know that some of these easy ones are gonna go the other way though. At least one Seattle. of them. Seattle. Everyone's take, taking, taking Seattle, Seattle, right? No, I'm taking Cincy. Oh, what? Yeah, I like that. That's Is that a sleeper. A shout out to uh, Andy Dalton. Another guy we know. Are you, are you is that a fun <laughs> pick or is that logical? That, that's a fun pick for me and a little bit of logic because I think the Seattle Seahawks are I hate strictly that. good because of Russell Wilson. And if he has an off night, I think it's anybody's game. The thing right. with Russell he doesn't Wilson. often have an off night, but I think week one, it's the whole, a big off season. He hasn't played a single snap in preseason. So you know what? Anything could happen since he might get off to a, a decent win, uh, lead. And right. uh, I'm talking out of my ass because I'm trying to justify a pick that makes no sense. Okay, next game. You know Russell Wilson has God <laughs> on his side, though, right? That's true. So, yeah, God has done this for yeah, him. Yeah, he doesn't do anything for himself. Yeah. God does it. But. God, it's God's, it's God's plan. Uh, that was lame. I just quoted Drake. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, Giants at Cowboys. One thing I like about America's Russell Wilson team. is that he bought his O-line Amazon stock. That is pretty sick, actually. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. But that's there's... purchasing someone's future. Okay. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it's like the smart I'll... investment is to invest. Okay, but here's the problem: you don't buy someone just Amazon stock. You play it smart, like every investor. You fucking Warren Buffett says the best investment is the S and P 500. You don't just fucking buy one stock. What if the fucking company, like, look at Walmart. Everyone's like, Walmart's the future, yada, yada, yada. Who Next. said that? Everybody said, said that Walmart's when Walmart the was future. Co- They fucking, Walmart's the future. back in the day. Oh, when back, Wal- yeah, not now. Yeah, like when oh, Walmart yeah, yeah. was first coming. It was, was like, the future. Holy fuck, our shops. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. Sorry to our listeners' ears. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Our shops, they're all getting closed. Where There's nothing that will ever stop Walmart. All right. And then this book selling We're fuck. 13 minutes into this week of football. <laughs> I want to get off of this podcast so I can go watch it. That bald man with a big height. Okay, we're on the four o'clock. Lions at Cardinals. Oh, man. This is a great game. Yeah, this is a I actually burger. don't know anything about either team. It, uh, I know more about the Lions, but. I know. I have a, I have a sneaky suspicion that the Lions are going to dominate this game. Matt I'm, Patricia, under the Bill Belichick system, he knows how to game plan for things like this. I'm coming with you. They have no offensive line in Arizona. Uh, Kyler Murray's going to be running for his life. And Mike, what are you picking? Sneaky fantasy pick here, guys. If TJ Hawkinson is available in your league, you pick him up and stash him because he is going to dominate. Cardinals. Okay. Bang. I like it. Cadrill. Yeah. Curds. <laughs> I think I'm fucking dyslexic. Okay. All right. We got Sam Fran at Tampa Bay. I think we skipped the Cowboys game. Yeah, we did because fuck the Cowboys. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Fuck that game. Yeah, fuck that. Why? Fuck both those teams. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to I don't pick. pick one of those. No, come on. Fine. Uh, I'll pick the Cowboys. No, I'm taking the Cowboys. Begrudgingly. Game. Boys. You're going to want the Cowboys. They're playing. Do you want to know who they're playing? The Giants. All right. He knows. Daniel Jones my dad, my dad, like four days straight, was like, "What are your picks? What are your picks?" And I just hammered them off this morning. I'm like, I just uploaded 75 bucks. I'm like, I'm going in. All right, let's move on. We got San Francisco 49ers at Tampa Bay. Give me the 49ers. I'm gonna take Tampa Bay at home. I don't believe in Jimmy G at all. Come on. Man. I think he's played 10 games as a starter, and he's overrated. And I'm gonna die on that hill. Okay. And Mike? That's picked, great for audio. Pick Tampa. Aaron picked Tampa. Yeah, I picked Tampa. I'm going to... No, up. that's Mike's. I know, I'm going to... You took Tampa. <laughs> no, no, I think I'm going to take the 49ers. Okay. Yeah. You guys I, believe in, ham, in Handsome Jim? I'm going to see... Like, he hasn't... He, he's only been good. I think that he has a fucking... He's only been injured, to be honest. Yeah, but... He's only been <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> I th- I think they were on a good track last year, yeah. and then they and then they got it got fucked. All over. right, Sunday nighter, Steelers at Patriots. What do you guys think? 
I could see. I honestly could see the Patriots getting this one stolen. Like, right. I I think so. I'm taking the Patriots. I want to take the Patriots too, but I feel like something could go wrong because Brown's probably not going to play. No, he's definitely not. He's not allowed. They don't you you have it. to you have to make the 53 man roster to start Week One. Did you guys talk about that? What Antonio Brown? Semi, no, uh, not yeah. really. You and I can stick around. He's this guy wants to fly. <laughs> nice. and no, I just know that that probably hurt you a lot. No, it didn't hurt me at all. You it hurt you a little bit. No, it did. I talked about it earlier. It <laughs> you, Don't worry about that. We're not Packers. talking about that. <laughs> so pa- everyone's taking Patriots. No, I'm taking I'm taking the Steelers. Yo, what about the Monday night game? Pats is one T, I believe. Yeah, but this is I don't spell like everyone else. So Pass steals. Steals. <laughs> okay, and last game. Uh, two more. Two there's games two more games. Uh, the Monday Nighter, Houston at New Orleans. Ooh, that's a good one. I'm going New Orleans. Yeah, I'm going Saints all day. <clears throat> Mike, Mike is going Houston for sure. He does. He hates Drew Brees. He has a weird thing against Drew Brees. I put him it's down like, as New Orleans. He hates religious who quarterbacks. Do you, who are you taking? <laughs> yeah, he yeah. hates them. You hate religion. Yeah. You've told me that. <laughs> yeah, well. You're totally against religion. No, I, I don't. <laughs> and all religious people. <laughs> I don't like Drew Brees because he plays in a dome. He's not that good. See, that's another <laughs> anti-religious uh, statement. He plays in a dome. Yeah. That's I'm gonna, bad. I'm going to take the, the Saints, <laughs> though. <laughs> because Who are you taking? I'm trying to clear my he got, name. He's got the Saints. These, these blasphemous claims. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and final then, pick of the week. We got Denver at Oakland. Mm. Um, Do the Raiders rally back? No. No. I think that's a a shit show. Yeah. I've taken the Broncos. Here's the thing. I agree with that, but I also, like, don't like Flacco that much. I think he's not that great. I think he's a little overhyped, even though he has a bowl. It's like, it's kind of like the Eli Manning situation. I think he's... Eli Manning's... Far and away, had a better career than. Well, of yeah, course, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying because but he, like not pretty similar though. But not, but yeah. but like Eli, because Eli on the edge a, of being elite. Well, yeah, no, because Eli like always Flacco's more consistent than Eli. Like Re- recently, like I think oh, even when he, like the years they they won like Super Bowls, he would have games where he was just like an absolute dog shit. Mm-hmm. Anyways, so we're all picking Baltimore, or I mean Denver. I'm picking Denver. I'm going to pick Oakland. I think they're going to rally around it. They don't need Antonio Brown. All they need is Josh Jacobs, uh, a little bit of Tyrell Williams sprinkled in, and uh, a whole lot of uh, football guy talk from John Gruden. We were laughing. I'm going to turn on. That's our picks of the week. Yeah, picks of the week are off, and and the belt's on the line officially. Let's see who wins it. I'm excited. Don't fucking touch it. I'm putting it down. Thanks, Mike, nice. for joining in. Uh, that's Mike, uh, the roommate Mike. I'm roommate not going to give him a. Uh, He's a against religion, name. and he. <laughs> I'm against religion, and that belt is coming <laughs> home with me. It's rightful owner. He, he loves to touch and I move the mic. I talk about the history of that belt one time, too. Oh, you Just mean the it. history of me being a two time champ and you being a. I, longest, I was the inaugural I champ? Okay, um, <clears throat> there's a few more things I want to cover, and then we'll get to pigskin. We'll sit down and watch. Mike, put on a put a put yeah. one on in the back there so I can watch while this guy UFC rambles. UFC 242 happened. Did you watch all the fights? I did. Um, Dude, how big of a letdown was fucking Poirier? Honestly, though, man, you're going up against a guy that used to wrestle bears for fun, and you're not going to win that fight. So I you, think you I either on- keep him, you either keep him standing up, and this is from my very, very, very limited MMA knowledge because I don't have any actually. Right. But <laughs> from what I understand is that Khabib gets you on the ground and you're done. Like there's no way you're going to out wrestle this guy, um, and 90% of the match was on the ground. So Poye had no shot. He had to stand up and swing, and he didn't do that, and that's the way it ended. Yeah, well, it was also 125 degrees Fahrenheit in the fucking arena. Yeah, it's swamp Like, sweaty. what kind of bullshit is that? I, I don't even sit in a sauna that hot. Yeah. Like, that, that makes no sense to me. Apparently, it's like that's a brand you, new arena, too. They yeah. should have some AC going, maybe some fans. Dude, that's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. And how come, like, three quarters of the card all looked like Khabib? Like everyone was like yeah. a fucking mini Khabib. My favorite. Like, get off his dick, boys. My Jesus. favorite part of the entire uh, event was for sure uh, when 
I believe it was the third third last fight. Let's bring him um, up. Islam Makachev uh, was obviously the fan favorite in Abu Dhabi. Ah, the, Abu Dhabi. The entire crowd was chanting Islam, <laughs> yeah. which I really liked. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. Just I, I was saying to my girlfriend. The entire Abu Dhabi crowd chanting Islam I was over saying, and over I again. was saying to my girlfriend. That'll put some fear in some Southerners' hearts yeah, if you're watching yeah. that. I was also finding it very funny how, like, uh, like how being Muslim in the UFC is so important to if you want the Muslim fans. If you're yeah. just a, if you're, yeah, like they are so Everybody loyal. Everybody wants someone on your own team. Dude, they're so loyal. It's crazy. It's cool to see, but it, at the same time, I'm like, holy fuck. That's like 2 billion extra fans. Oh my God. The Bills are losing 6-0. Right? What happened? God damn. Anyways, but they, How did uh, that even happen? Another guy I love who looks exactly like my cousin, like identical, is Paul Felder. Although I do think he lost the that Irish fight. The Irish Dragon Dude, won that fight. the fucking scorecards were a joke. They were like 30-27 Felder, 30-27 Barboza, and then 30-27 is like, how does it, how is it 30-27? How is there that, yeah, how is there It was so much? clearly a 29-28, and there was a draw in, in this uh, event. Um, and I think more fights, like Joe Rogan talks about all the time, I think more fights are a fucking draw. I'm sick of seeing this bullshit. Where guys just win. And then this was a he very heavy wrestling. I actually prefer that they just give somebody the win because this, for my personal um, little bias here, I don't like seeing that third column when they are when they have their wins losses up. Right. I like seeing a clean 23-2. Well, no. and two. I disagree with I don't with like that. the 23-2-1. and one. I don't like that. Like because the no contest. John, I, I don't like John it. Jones has a no contest, and so does Deontay Wilder. That doesn't make me like it more. But I like it because I don't want Wilder to ever fucking lose. I want him to keep going. Well, yeah. I mean, everybody loves a dynasty except for me because I <laughs> fucking hate them. So you don't, you don't like the fucking Ming dynasty? Uh, I'm actually more prone to the... Mao Dynasty, yeah. Okay, uh, so the last fight, I'll, or two more fights. I, want to I don't know what that means. If that <laughs> makes me look horrible, who knows? Okay, I just named a dynasty that I knew. Curtis Blades' fight was pretty fucking embarrassing for Shamil. Like, yeah, Shamil is and, he's like thirty-eight. Yeah, well, this I and he think, looks like. If I any, anybody out there knows who that <laughs> yeah. is. Yeah, I think it's been proven that Khabib literally found the best fighting recipe of all time. Like, literally, it's insane. Just ground and pound and dust people. Well, he, he'll he take you to the fence, push you into the fence continuously, and then once you try to turn, he'll rip your legs from under you, and every time you try to push up, he'll pull your legs back. And then once you try to, like, up push his arms off because he has such good wrist control, he'll fucking drop an elbow on you, and then you're trying to protect your face, and then he sinks his arms in under your chin. And then once you go to protect that, then he elbows you. It's just... I think the best fight for him is Tony Ferguson, and I think Ferguson will fuck him up. Because Ferguson is so he's good. He's a wild card. He's so good off his back. He's not predictable. He's got brain damage, so he doesn't care. Poirier has it's a good brain. Gone. That was the big problem. You got to go in there brain dead. I think Poirier's from Tennessee, though, right? Louisiana? He's friends with... Uh... I think he's from Louisiana, right? Yeah. Jordan, Dustin Poirier? Yeah, so you can't tell me his brain's good. And the last fight I'm going to say that was unreal... Uh, I really enjoyed. I don't know about Unreal. Is uh, Joanne Calderwood? I think she's pretty. She's pretty sick. She's, she's sick, but she has a worse nickname. What's her nickname? Amber KGB Lee was like the best name of the night. Why would you let women fight? That that's our uh, our roommate Mike <laughs> coming in <laughs> with a very. With a, yeah. Oh yeah, that's. What that's I said true. that to my girlfriend. I was like, "That's so." I imagine what the few people in the stand. Probably are thinking. because. Probably because the Middle East is a lot more progressive than you're you're leading on, Mike. <laughs> women can drive in Saudi Arabia now. The elite women, the rich ones, they're allowed. So I they're not. That was surprising. They're not as backwards and digressive as you believe they are, Mike. Yeah, Mike. Mike. Fucking sicko. Hates okay, the Middle so East. That was hates religion. Okay, and so, hates women apparently because okay, they can't fight. Is it? Uh, there's a few more things I would like to talk about, and one of them is I'm a huge Tesla fan. Massive Elon Musk. I've read his book. Love the fucking guy. But Porsche just came out with their uh, Porsche Taycan. It's their fully electric car. They're releasing it in 2020. Apparently, it charges in like 15 minutes. And they're saying 15 it, minutes. Yeah, but my phone takes two hours. Dude, I I don't believe it. There's there's like physical limitations to this. And, but anyways, 
They're saying it's the Tesla killer because the media is so fucking biased against Tesla because gas companies the fake bullshit. fake news media. Dude, uh, let's get into next podcast. We're getting into conspiracy theories, but... Andrew Yang. He's, we're getting to Andrew dude, Yang. Dude, do you know how many networks are like against Andrew Yang for some reason? I don't MSNBC get it. MSNBC hates him. Dude, Yang. it's wait, such wait bullshit. Wait one second. Josh is on the run. Oh, Ooh, just got that go, there goes his shoulder. <laughs> is that his throwing arm? He just popped Watch out. This. Oh, Oh! Why are you diving head first, you lunatic? This guy is going to be out for the season. Okay. Yeah, our O-line is looking anyway, just as holy as last year. Okay, I'll bring, I'm going to bring up the Porsche Taycan here. Um, anyways, there the news is all like, oh, this is the Tesla killer, all this shit. People don't understand how fucking far ahead Tesla is, okay? Look at this. The base model Porsche Taycan is $173,000. And it gets off the line at 3.2, 0 to 100. The fucking Model S base model is like $95,000, and it gets off the line at like three seconds. What colors do they come in? Every color. Really? That's like my knowledge okay, of cars. But another thing is, like what colors? when you get a oh, Tesla. Oh, it like turn good? <laughs> when, you, when you get a Tesla, they, they have like Model 3. They have affordable ones for the general public. That's insane. They're so far ahead. And... They have fucking full self-driving. They're going to have that capability by 2020. Like, you'll literally be able to buy the car an extra five grand. You'll just be able to... There's videos of people sleeping in their Tesla getting to places. Right now. Yeah. That has to be illegal. It's definitely illegal, but... Yeah. Like, Tesla is a thing where you have to keep your hands on the wheel, but that's just how far ahead they are. It's like, you're not... It's not just about the electric car thing anymore. It's about what else Tesla has. They're saying... Down the line, what Tesla wants is to basically have their own Uber where while you're sleeping, your Tesla drives people around. It comes home, dry, charges itself, and then goes and picks people up. It's fucking insane. So you'll be making money while you sleep. And you know what? The Mitchells and the Ransoms are all about making money while you sleep. If you want to do our five-course eyes- seminar. <laughs> when your eyes are closed, my bank account's open for business. <laughs> That's what that's my family motto. Our words. So next, n- next thing I wanted to talk about was uh, Elon debating Jack Ma in China. Elon got okay. This is fucking crazy. In the height of all this Chinese and and uh, U.S. trade war tensions, Elon was able to avoid the ten percent taxes and tariffs on Tesla in, in China, which is fucking nuts because China hates the U.S. right now. Yeah. And and and, uh, and then he so. Uh, Jack Ma started uh, what company? Um, I believe it was Alibaba. Alibaba, uh, yeah. And and Elon gets out there, and they're just like kind of talking to start, and then and then you just hear. Ja- I don't know if it was because he's Chinese and and he isn't that great at English, or if he's actually just not even close to the same smarts as um, Elon. But it was pretty the same smarts, dude. It was. It <laughs> We're was, not. We don't have the same smarts as Elon. As Elon, apparently, dude. It was unbelievably embarrassing for Jack Ma. Like, all right. I, they debate AI. Detrain a world artificial intelligence. All right, we're gonna go artificial through this whole thing. Intelligence or AI? What the fuck is he? <laughs> um, I mean, I really think that there should be other companies like Neuralink. Um, essentially. Only, you know, the, the 0.00% of the prediction are right. They're right because by accident. Yeah, but it's also true that 80% of statistics are false. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, okay, so Jack Ma just continues. Is that to, true? <laughs> Jack that was Ma, a crazy statement he just said. 80% of statistics are false. That's what Elon just said, right? He probably knows. I... I I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, but that's an insane number of statistics that are wrong. Anyways, my point is Jack Ma just keeps saying shit that is so uneducated. Like, he said that robots will never be smarter than humans. All of them are, aren't they? Uh, Pretty much. Already? Like, I think, like... The only reason I know anything is because I fucking type it on my phone. Yeah. But 80% 80 of those statistics you look up are false. Fuck, man. According to Elon. Modern day media. So you can't know. Don't even... I think it's a real stat because Elon, Elon said yeah, there's it. There's an 80% chance that that's wrong. You got to get into some fractorals there, eh? Or factorals? What is that? How do you how do you uh, how do you calculate that? Factorals? No, just like 80% of 80%. You just multiply it, right? I don't know, man. We're living in a Cross simulation. Divide. 
We're living Carry in a remainder. Sim Look at this. They're playing goal. Is that Le'Veon? That's Le'Veon, yeah. And he's getting oh. swarmed. Uh, who, did we have two field Flag goals or did we get a touchdown against us? That was two field goals for sure. Anyways, um, we're, we're coming down to the wrap up here. Um, someone died at Yosemite. I don't know how, but Stephanie told me that. Is there a video of it? <laughs> I'm gonna look it <laughs> I'm going to see. Um, and that's a thing. We're going to do, we're going to, this is the, our first ever fucking podcast, uh, together. I'm excited. We're going to be doing this weekly. It was a little rough around the edges to start. Yeah. Us, I, I'm sure our audio peaked a fuck ton. This is just a big learning curve. So our beer sign fell. So we're going to have to try <laughs> yeah. to get that, uh, secure we, for the next cast. We're also, our dream is to have the road. Uh, well, I actually just made a submit. That's, a, that's another thing we can talk about is the fact that uh, Rode has a fucking podcasting system. It, it costs a lot. But last year, Mike, Mike Milden, it's almost a grand. Mike Milden and I won Best Comedy in the uh, My Road Reel thing. You saw it. It's a yeah, green yeah. screen video. It's pretty, pretty fun. And we won like a fuck ton of gear. And pretty much all like half the gear I own now is because of that. So thank you, Rode. Please send Thanks, me. Rode. Once we get big. If they could be a sponsor, that'd be huge. I know they like to talk about anti-religion stuff and yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yosemite deaths. <laughs> They're big on those. Okay, so visitor dies after falling from half dome cables. Uh, I know you guys are having so much fun listening, but this is going to be our last uh, subject of the day. Uh, we're going to end it off with a death. 29-year-old Daniel Burnett from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, fell over 500 feet. Oh, my gosh. Down a rocky surface and was pronounced alive. What? <laughs> no, I'm joking. He was dead. I wasn't following along. <laughs> when the park rangers arrived on scene, National Public Affairs Officer Scoot, not Scott, Scoot get a man. Scoot get a man. <laughs> Said in a statement to CNN. You didn't, okay. Wow. There's not a, there's a photo of some. That's really This is sad. a typical bullshit here. That's Look really at this. sad. Whoa, come on. She died, man. Like, no, we're not this girl bullshit. didn't die. It was a guy. That was, Dan yeah, Danielle died. What are you talking about? Look, read it. No, Daniel. Danielle Burnett. Right there. E. That's the a female. Oh, that's her. I was gonna say, what is this? Some bullshit? Like, uh, uh, a a yeah. fucking tread tread lightly. <laughs> the family could easily be listening. No, but I, easily, yeah. No, I was saying though, like, what is this? Some bullshit? What is this? A fucking uh, Instagram model taking her photo, and then instead of showing the guy who died, we get to see a big ass on a rock, like everything on Instagram. Yeah, I uh, <laughs> uh, rest in peace, Danielle. Um, <laughs> I just hope her mother and father uh, can get through this tough time. Uh, just <laughs> thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. And that's, no. as a millennial, that's all I can really do to help is I, send out my thoughts I'm and putting, prayers. I might tweet about here's it. Here's the too. thing. I don't want to one-up you, but I'm putting out my thoughts and prayers above yours. Uh, so, my Danielle, everything I said I take back. I thought it was a boy who died, mm. and I my thoughts and prayers are above Aaron. Yeah, so first thoughts and prayers from Luke, second thoughts and prayers from me. Mike has no thoughts or prayers because he's anti-religion, and that's the LA Podcast. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hopefully you tune in next week. Uh, from all of us here at LA, uh, broadcasting is, live from Toronto, uh, thank you very much. The sun is shining, and we're having fun, and we want to thank our sponsors. Uh, actually, no, we don't have sponsors yet. If there's any sponsors out there who want to fund us, send them in. do it. Come in. We're, they're going to come in droves because we're going to hit. We're going to break something because their fucking view count is going to be so high. Yeah. So All we right. yeah we still have to make our YouTube channel, our Facebook page. We have to fucking figure out how to share this around. Keep tuning in. We got to uh, make a logo. We're just getting started here. We got more picks, more predictions, more craziness. We're going to pull our dicks out and touch them. Our Maybe. dads are going to come in. We're touch gonna them have, as well. We're going to have guests. <laughs> We're going to have guests that aren't sick fuck freaks like uh, Mike the roommate. But I liked having Mike. He was fun. He left his mic up like this. That's totally blocking me. <laughs> yeah, he's a completely that's pretty, that's disrespectful, disrespectful trash man. But, but we're excited. And we're, you know what? What day should we release these on? That, that's something we got to think about. Honestly, let's uh, keep this off mic. How about that? That discussion. Okay. We've been trying to wrap this up for three minutes now. Let's wrap it up. I think we See released, you later, folks. I think we released them Tuesday. Pause. <laughs> okay. Bye.